this is the start right here. A little bit painful because my saw is not quite big enough, so I have to flip this thing over about three times to cut it. But it's done. First piece. Big one's done. Now we're cutting two of these U channels. And then I'm going to cut a couple half inch by three inch by seven inch pieces of flat bar. almost ready to drop off. Woo! I found the perfect thing to go on the end. This hole is too big. This hole is too small. So I guess the only choice we got is to make this hole bigger. And this is bigger than an inch and I don't have a bigger than an inch metal drill bit. So we are doing the uh, weird way here by cutting this out on the spin table. I forgot to cut down them here a little bit for the welding. Much better, much better. Alright, I'm going to add a plate right in here because thinking about it, the way that this is going to pull from here would tend to want to pull um, pull the peg this way. Okay, the peg's going to be in here, right? Pull that way and want to rip this off. So if anything is weak, it's kind of on this side here. So I'm going to add a plate in here, weld this on, weld it on here, just to give it a little more strength. And start out by grinding some bevels in here. Plates tacked on, and we'll just finish welding those. All right, so now we drill a couple holes, one for the three point to attach to, and maybe one down here just to scotch further down for uh, attaching a chain or whatever to. All right, so. Pretty much all clamped up and ready to tack. All right, so I've got all the welds at the bottom done as far as these two pieces of iron go. And I put a piece in between here to make sure this top is nice and stabilized. Uh, ground grooves in here so the weld has good deep penetration and we'll continue on with some more stabilizing on here all right time to tack in these braces right here I thought what would be nice is to put a brace in here that kind of doubled as a hitch. This is just a little bit loose, but we'll fill it in with weld, I think, and it'll be okay. It's uh, reasonably heavy, so straightaway pull off of this shouldn't really be too bad with a uh, off a chain or something. 
All right, so I'm gonna finish welding all this stuff up off camera. Well, no doubt I'm probably one of the odd people that goes and buys 20 feet of receiver hitch material, but I did. And so I cut a chunk of that off. And we're gonna see if we can pop a hole in it. All right, I think I'm centered. reinforcing on the end there. Alright, here we go. Packing away. More welding off camera. Receiver is ready to weld. Ready to get tacked on. All right, tacked in place, so I will weld this offline again. I think it's pretty much done, except for the painting. So, wiping it down with a little acetone, and uh, I'm gonna start stopping some paint on it. Well, I might not have enough primer, but I shall see. And now for some black. Woo. Here's the final shot. I don't know if you would call this the money shot, but it is the final shot. And I've actually had this thing out, used it, got a little mud on it. So, if I am so inclined, I will post another video of what happened in this muddy situation but for now um, I'm pretty pleased with how this little hitch thing worked out and it's held up very well so far uh, just used it a couple times but it is what it is and I thank you for watching and I hope you do rate and subscribe and stick around for some more videos talk to you later bye